Hi, this is Jim, and this is my vlog. And uh, there's been some questions. People have asked some questions, and they said, uh, you know, I want to be in the IT industry. Um, should I go to college, uh, or should I get certifications? And, you know, there's a lot to be said on, on these. And, and, you know, what type of certs to get? What should I go to in college? Um, and I know this is going to sound strange, because I have a lot of college, uh, painfully. I wish I could get some of that money back and some of that time back, but I have a lot of college. College isn't for everyone, and just because you decide not to go to college or just because you tried college and have not been successful doesn't mean that you're dumb. It doesn't mean anything. It just means it's not for everyone. Uh, I personally, even though I have many years of college and undergrad and bachelor's and master's and all that other junk, um, I, I chafed under it. It was difficult for me. Um, and I had a hard time at college. It's just, it's just, they went too slow sometimes, and other times I didn't understand it. They went too fast. It was kind of hard to do that group learning type of thing. But for some people, they do great in college. And if you're in the IT world, uh, there's a lot of great colleges out there. And sometimes when you do your undergrad, you have to do all those prerequisite courses, uh, you know, uh, uh, one, one of my guys are in college right now, one of my interns, and he has kinetics. And I said, what in the world is kinetics? I know what the word kinetic means, but is there a course in that? And he goes, yeah, it's exercising. I walk around the field for about 45 minutes and I go to my next class. Well, you have to pay for that. It's kind of stupid stuff, you know, and you get a lot of stupid stuff in college that you kind of have to get through, you know. Mine was art appreciation. I hated art appreciation. Ooh, that was painful, art appreciation. I'm not that type of person. I, didn't I don't appreciate art. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't appreciate art. <sighs> okay? So I hated undergrad. Uh, but I got my undergrad degree. Uh, to me, you had to have more in majors area, but we're not here to redesign the undergrad program. When I went on for master's, master's was wonderful. They allowed me to think on my own, and every subject was about the subject I went to take my master's. And so if you hate undergrad, there might be better life for you in master's program. However, if you're doing something, you know, like undergrad that's not IT, and let's say you're going to go for something that says studies after it, you're not going to get paid very well. I'm going to be honest with you. And so really think through what your degree is going to be in if you're not going to do IT. IT, there's a big need in IT. There is a bigger need than there's IT people. But if you're going to go into art history, good luck. You know, another thing too is I hear people say, well, I'd love to go to college. And, uh, uh, but, you know, I don't have the money. And on top of that, no one to help me. And, oh, man, I'm a victim. And, oh, if the world was any different, oh, give me a bag of potato chips, let me sit on my couch and eat them and watch Oprah all day and think of how bad life is. Oh, come on, get over it. Um, if you want to go to college, then go to college, okay? I started college, I, I know it's a little strange, I started college with 35 cents in my pocket. And, when I, and I knew I had 35 cents in my pocket because that's as much money as I needed to get the bus home that night and eat dinner. And that's all I had. And how did I finish college? Well, I took out some loans, and I paid them all off, too. Be a person of integrity. Pay off your loans. Um, I, I paid them off, and I paid my own way. My parents uh, were not very wealthy, far from it. I, don't, I, I didn't know how bad it was until years later. I had to work full-time most of the time, but I made it through. If you seriously want to go to college, then do it. And don't sit there and complain and whine about, I can't get money, and this is that, and this is the, you know, and it goes on and on and on. Do it. That's all. The same thing with certs. If you can't, um, if you want to get a cert, then put time away each day to learn about that certification and to work on it. You know, best, if you can't chop a tree down in one day, you know, the best way to chop a tree down is you take five wax at it each day. And eventually, you know what's going to happen? You're right tree's going to fall. And it's the same thing with certs, the same thing with college. You do the best you can, and then once you get to where you did the best you can, and then you figure out how to get to the next level. And you just do it that way. If it's one hour a day studying, do one hour a day studying. Eventually you'll get that certification.
not everyone goes to college, not everyone needs college. And what I generally see is, is that big corporations and government like degrees. Businesses like mine, and uh, also corporations, like certifications. Certifications work for them. You can prove you can do the job. At least you can prove on paper. I hired an MCSE one time. I don't think he could in install a operating system. He didn't last very long, but he had, a, had the cert. That was 10, 15 years ago when just read a couple books, you get a cert. Today is a lot different. Cisco certifications are extremely hard. And to get one shows that you're above uh, average in intelligence to be able to be certified in Cisco. And some of the other certifications are difficult also. But, you know, when you're going for certifications in the same area as if you're going to college, don't go for the stupid stuff. Okay? If you're getting ready to get a certification in something, then find out what companies want. If you want to work in a big corporation, find out what the IT department wants. And sometimes people go in such narrow areas first, go and do that later, um, that they become unemployable. So my opinion is this. Uh, Microsoft Server, the latest one. Don't do an old one, do the latest one. Okay? Don't waste your time on old technology. So. Focus on the server. If you're going to do desktop, desktop is fine. Don't get me wrong. But, but corporations view servers as being higher than desktops. So do server first, then do your desktop. And then, of course, CCNA, Cisco Certified Network uh, Associate. And there's different areas in that. There's one that's route switch. And route switch is absolutely fine. Um, at that level, it's kind of vanilla. Um, but it's absolutely fine. Um, CCNA in, in security is good. Uh, right now, cybersecurity is really exploding. They don't have enough cybersecurity people. That's a good area. Um, and voice over IP is excellent. So CCNA voice is an excellent field. Do all three. CCNA, route switch, voice, security. You won't have a life after that. No one's going to know your name because you have spent your life somewhere studying with the blinds pulled. I'm only joking. It takes lots of work to do these things. And when someone walks into my office and they're a CCNA, a CCNP, I am interested in them. When they walk into my office, <laughs> and I actually had someone, had a doctorate in dance or something, it's like, what am I gonna do with that? You know, minimum wage, sweep the floor. You know, think this thing through before you do it. Again, big companies, appreciate degrees. Government likes, loves degrees, you know, uh, bachelors in, in computer science or something like that. Um, and corporation, I mean companies like, like mine that we do design and installations and things like that, and a lot of IT departments, they like certifications. Basic certifications is CC, uh, MCSE from Microsoft on server, not some of the others on server, and of course the other one is uh, CCNA, and, uh, VMware, and, you know, you go on from there. You should always be uh, studying. Even though I've been in this field for 37 years now, uh, I still spend at least an hour a day on technology um, uh, that I need to learn, I need to understand. And I'm not the guy that does it every day, but I need to understand it enough to know how I can sell it, what it can do, what my employees need to learn. At any rate, Thank you for watching the video. I hope that answered your questions uh, concerning um, uh, college or certifications. But the bottom line is do something. Don't think about it.